everyone. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. I'm sorry I didn't do a video last week. I've actually been having to face some demons of mine and I've been in quite a bit of emotional pain. And um, it's something that I'm still going through right now. But I feel like I want to share some of this with you because these videos are about being honest. And this is really, this is hard for me to do this video. It's a little embarrassing, but I think it's important because we all go through stuff like this. And instead of running away from it and um, trying to find a quick fix, you have to face your feelings. And a lot of us are taught in society just to put it away, sweep it under the rug, distract ourselves from our demons. And we have to face them. I'm not a crier and I don't like to cry in front of people. I find it a bit too vulnerable and embarrassing. So that's why I'm actually letting this be on tape because maybe it'll help me get over that. And that's what this video is about. It's about being comfortable with your emotions and facing your emotions. So last week, I just had very intense emotions of not feeling valuable and not having any value. And they were very intense feelings of like worthlessness. And I know so many of us deal with these kind of emotions. And um, I don't want you guys, I don't want anyone to feel like this. Whew. Okay, now hopefully I won't cry for the rest of the video and I, I'll get through this. The reason why this topic is so important to me is because so many of us feel these feelings of worthlessness, having no value, not being lovable. And even if we don't feel it all the time, they're always right there underneath the surface, ready to come up in a vulnerable moment. And how we react to this is everything. But what most of us wanna do is wanna run away from it. We wanna distract ourselves. This leads a lot of people down a path of addiction. They're drinking all the time or doing drugs to you know, escape these feelings. Even if it's not addiction, it's like, oh, let me go watch a happy movie and forget about this. Let me just like whack it away. But the thing is, these type of emotions, you cannot whack them away. They will run after you. Do we really want something to be running after us our entire lives? How miserable is that? And it doesn't have to be that way. And I've been running from these emotions. I really see that now. I've dealt with it a little bit, but not to the capacity that I need so that they go away. <laughs> I have decided to face these demons. I've decided to look this demon right in the face. I was like, I'm not gonna run from you anymore. I'm not gonna try to escape from you. I'm not gonna be distracted from you. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to be with you. And I'm gonna know that that's okay. And the way that I am feeling is okay. It's okay that I'm in pain. It's okay that I'm crying. And it's okay that I feel this way. I also know that I do have value and that I am lovable and I do know all of these things. And these feelings are just beliefs um, from old patterns, old ways of thinking, old programming. It's my job to be patient and to be brave and face what I need to face to move on in life. Another thing I wanna add, when we're brave enough to really look our demon in the face and sit with it and be okay with it, what we realize is that that big scary demon is just us as a child, you know, begging for love and safety. <laughs> so it's really not this scary, horrible thing. So we don't need to run from it. It's just a part of ourselves that we need to care for. Here are a couple of tips to help you care for yourself when you're going through stuff like this. You know, right when you get that painful thought or painful feeling, instead of running away from it, just be like, just let it be there. Just accept it, be okay with it. Be patient with yourself. Imagine yourself talking to you as a child. Hug yourself, tell yourself everything is going to be okay. Tell yourself that you are lovable and that you are safe. I know this sounds a little cheesy, 
but it really does help. Do that while you're meditating or praying. You know, prayer is incredibly powerful. Another tool, stop beating yourself up for all the things that you think are wrong with you. I actually was talking to this wonderful lady the other day and she told me, what if everything you thought was wrong with you is everything that is actually right with you? And I thought about that for a minute and I thought, okay, well maybe that doesn't apply if I'm like a serial killer or something, but the little flaws that I think I have, you know, or maybe even I could say about myself, I'm too emotional. Well, the fact that I'm emotional, I do confuse girl and it, and it might help people. And this video might help somebody. And isn't that beautiful? Isn't that amazing? Isn't that something that I could take that was wrong with me and it's actually right about me? Think about all the things that you think are wrong with you and maybe ponder how it makes you a better, stronger, braver person because you have the experience of that, because you have weaknesses and you're human. Through the process of any kind of painful situation, eat healthy, still go exercise, even if it's just, you know, a 30 minute walk, take care of yourself, be compassionate to yourself, be extra loving and kind to yourself through these times. After this video, I'm actually gonna go take a walk. <laughs> so um, please leave your comments. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, if it was helpful, if anything I say resonated with you. Um, I offer live coaching sessions. If you're interested, you can email me at the email address below. And I hope you all have a beautiful week. And I'm sure by next week, I'll be all smiles and giggles as usual. Um, I love you all and I'll see you later. Mwah.